Okay guys, so today I'm learning, we're gonna show you how to do a camera shake effect that looks something like this. I'm Bobby. And I'm Brent. And you're watching. Vlogging with Bobby and Brent. <laughs> that was a really weird yeah. accent. I like it though. Yeah, some. That's from some borough. <laughs> some borough in old, old London town. Okay guys, so Brent. What's up? What kind of effect are we doing today? Oh, uh, that's a good question. I think what we're going to be doing today is a camera shake effect. Whoa! Now, you might be asking yourself, don't you just take camera and shake it if you want to get that effect? Well, kind of. In yeah, a way. sort of. But um, also, there's ways we can create that effect um, manually if we want to sort of add it to something that doesn't have it. So, yeah. we're going to show you how to do that today. So, today we're going to take this video right here. Not tomorrow. Not tomorrow, not today. yesterday. We're going to take this nice clip here of a uh, palm tree in the tropical area of yeah, look at this of the world of anywhere Dorn. this is Dorn. yes it's dornish beach this is the um hmm. what's the name of the of the uh the little peninsula uh good question i don't remember i don't remember either no one cares about Dorn. yeah no one cares so this is Dorn. uh this is a nice tropical video here of a palm tree and we're gonna basically take this video and we're gonna make it look like uh it's it was taken on a handheld camera shot Right. Now, how do we do that? Yeah, you're about to learn, so buckle up. Buckle up. So we're going to use uh, Premiere and After Effects today as our two different programs. Okay. So let's start off by dragging the palm tree video into our timeline here as I stop shaking my chair. <laughs> yes, we're only shaking cameras today, not chairs. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we have the static shot of the palm tree in the timeline. We recorded our own video here of Brent holding up a piece of paper yep. and we drew an X marker on that paper and did a little bit of camera shaking action. So what we're going to do is we're going to basically be tracking that point and we're going to be applying that track to the video. So let's get started. Okay. So let's drag this into the project here. Sure. Let's take these two clips here and we will right click and replace with After Effects Composition. Okay. Now that's gonna open up After Effects in our Creative Cloud. Okay, so we've opened up our After Effects file. Cool. Now, we've talked about this in some previous videos, but we're going to be doing a nice motion tracking here. It's our favorite thing. So to do that, we're gonna to go to our Tracker, Track Motion, and we have our Track Point here. And we're gonna take the Track Point, and we're gonna place it right over our X, and then we'll Stretch it to be a little bit bigger. Yeah, get our X marks a spot. Yeah. The X is gonna give it to you. What? Now we're gonna go up to this panel and we're gonna go to our motion tracking. So we have our track point and let's go over here and we will make sure that position is selected and let's analyze forward. And now we're gonna let it track the motion. So we'll be yeah. right back once it's done. Okay, so it's tracked our point here on the paper. Cool. Now let's go back to our composition and we're gonna create a new null object. And mm. that null object is going to be linked to our track points. So let's go back to our layer here where we've got our track point. Okay, look at all those points. Select it and we're going to hit edit target. And the target is going to be null one. Okay, so now we're going to hit apply. Apply dimensions X and Y. That'll work so just we'll fine for us. Okay, and now the null object is going to be tracked ah. to the X point. See how that square just stays put? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Nice. Looking pretty good. So now here's the really simple part that's gonna make this uh, look really great. So we're gonna take the static image, mm -hmm. the static video of the palm tree. We're gonna drag it up one layer so that it is in front of the paper and now we're going to parent that to the null object. Ooh. So now it's going to move with the null object. The pro only problem is right now, you can see that the shot is too small mm -hmm. and you can see the sides. So we're just gonna take it and we're going to hit our S key on the keyboard and we're gonna scale it up a lot. Okay. So now you'll notice that nothing is out of the shot. Everything is staying pretty well within the frame. Oh, this is cool. And uh, let's take a look at what it looks like. Oh yeah, you got that kind of over the shoulder handy cam, kind of shaky cam thing going on there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so it looks like uh, basically someone was in the shot holding mm -hmm. a camera 
and uh, taking a video of the palm tree themselves. So let's finish this up by going back into Premiere and we will just let it render and we'll see our final footage. All right, so that's looking really good. I think that uh, we had a little successful video here. I like it. On how to make it look like a camera shaking shot. Cool, I so, like it. That's it guys, go thanks ahead. for watching. What? <laughs> Sorry, what were you gonna say? That's no. just a little handy cam shot. It's not important. Make sure to leave a like, leave a comment if you wanna see more of these videos. Leave a sub. Leave a sub. <laughs> Take a sub, make a sub. Make a sub for, for yourself, make a sub for me and Brent. For all the uh, Subway sandwich artists out there, make a sub. Make a sub. And yeah, make a sub. And uh, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sub. I'm artist. And you're subbing. Learning with Bobby and Brent. <laughs> cool. Time to render, time, time to render, time. To render time, time to render time, to render time, to render time, to render time, to render time.